Hey everybody! Hey there! Hi everybody! It's me, the singing diva from New York, Benita Charles, and I'm back for another episode of Singing Tips, where we talk about music, and it's for beginner singers. I started it about a month ago, and uh, so we are live. Last week I did like a tribute to Prince, so it wasn't live, but back live again. And uh, how's everybody doing today? You can comment, and I can see it. Let me know where you're from what's going on right now I'm broadcasting live uh, through Facebook and Periscope so if I look like I'm looking in different directions I have two things going on I'm gonna get this tech thing together at some point <laughs> but uh, how's everybody doing today on this wonderful weekend Mother's Day weekend want to wish all the mothers a beautiful wonderful weekend this is your weekend, so it's not just for tomorrow. We're celebrating the mothers all weekend. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful Mother's Day. Hoping you're getting... Hi, Rebecca, how are you? Hoping you get lots of flowers, candy, breakfast in bed. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I started this singing tips about a month ago, and... It's for beginner singers because you know I had a lot of people ask me about singing. So I thought, you know what? This would be a good time to just share some of my experience and, and my tips and hope I can empower someone else. And it's it's for beginner singers. So people who are just starting out and uh, they just don't know what to do. So we're starting from ground zero. And we're going through the whole scope of show business. And this is the show part. This is the part where you're developing your talent. You're developing your singing skills so that you can become a professional singer. And so I'm sharing just my experience from singing for years and um, in hopes that I can help someone else. So I am here, folks, I'm singing Viva, inspiring others and empowering others through music and through motivational messages. So that that's what I'm doing here, and, and I'm hoping that someone will be inspired by these tips. And uh, to give you a recap of what we talked about the last few tips, so the first tip in the show business is for you to start learning songs and this will help you build your repertoire this will help you strengthen your voice and the second tip was to warm up your voice so when you're singing you want to take care of your voice because this is your instrument and it's very precious so when you warm your voice up it gives your voice a chance to catch up with what's going on and so that when you start singing it's not a strain. So that was the second tip. The third tip was last week I did a Prince tribute and Prince is one of my favorite singers and I was devastated with millions of his fans and um, Prince was a perfect example of what we're striving for here at Singing Tips because Prince was the perfect artist. He was an artist true through and through and he he said in an interview that he wanted to inspire people with his music and that's exactly what he did when you see the people who spoken out about him and who who was inspired by him he did exactly that he inspired people he touched people and so I felt like he was a great example of what we're doing here as singers our job is to touch the world through song I mean, it's nice to get fame and fortune. I think that's great. 
But I think the ultimate goal is to be an inspiration to the world. And music is the best inspiration. I mean, when you're feeling down, you put on a good song, it lifts your spirits. And that's what we as singers do. So I thought he was a great um, role model in terms of what, what we should be striving for as an artist. He was a great performer. He was an instrumentalist. He was a producer. And so these are all the things that we're going to be talking about uh, during singing tips. So that leads us to this week's tip, which is to establish a rehearsal schedule. So um, one thing that establishing a rehearsal schedule does is it helps strengthen your voice because you're practicing. And as they say, practicing is perfect, but not only does practicing is perfect, but I would say, taking a step further, that practice makes you great. And when you set a rehearsal schedule, you build consistency. And with that consistency, that would allow you to strengthen your voice, that would allow you to build your repertoire, and this is going to make you a great performer. So I think that's a very important point, is to make it a priority. S establish a rehearsal schedule. Get your calendar out and set a date and decide, okay, at this, on this date and time, this block of time, I'm going to rehearse my voice. And what I love about rehearsal is you can experiment. Now, when you're performing, you don't want to be performing and experimenting. You want to know exactly what you're going to do. And that's what rehearsal does. Rehearsal allows you to practice and so that when you get to that performance, you know exactly what you're doing. And you're focusing on the message. You're focusing on what you bring to your performance. And you can't do that if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what the song is, you haven't practiced it. And also, when you're performing, those nerves will get the best of you. And, and the more prepared you are, the more confident you are. And the more confident you are, the more you're able to convey the song. So that's exactly why I think that that's a very important tip is to practice. So hi, hi everyone. I see everyone is joining. Hello there. Um, well, I have my music going in the background, so let me turn that off because I think it's a little loud. Thanks. Sorry about that. But yeah, so we're talking about this week's tip is to practice. Well, set a set a practice schedule because that helps build consistency and that's going to make you a better performer. And I think that's that doesn't just go with singing. That goes with if you're a speaker, if you go through your speech before you get up on stage, that will give you more confidence. And the more confident you are, the more you're able to convey your message. And that's the most important part is the message. When you're singing, when you're speaking, if you know exactly what you're going to say or how you're going to sing it, then you will be a dynamic performer. And that is the job because you have a message. Whether you're giving a speech speak, a motivational speak, whether you're preaching, whether you're singing, your message is what counts. And the more prepared you are, the more you're able to convey that message with confidence. The worst thing, and I've, I've had performances where I didn't feel as prepared, and that's the worst feeling in the world. So when you perform, you want to make sure you know exactly what you do. When you're rehearsing, you can experiment. You can see what works, what doesn't work. You, you build your voice. You, you will be a dynamic performer. And, you know, last week I had talked about Prince. Prince was constantly working. If he wasn't in the studio, he was on stage. If he wasn't on stage, he was practicing. And that's 
what makes you great is to practice. So, uh, does anyone, hi, hi everyone, hi Catherine, so you agree with me? Oh, please tell Rico, I said hello. <laughs> so you agree, and you're a performer, so you know that you have to practice, you have to rehearse. And I am an advocate for preparing yourself, that because that's how you convey your message. Now, uh, so I, I said, um, you know, in terms of steps, so I said that you got to establish that. So the step, one step, I think, for this is to make it a priority. Like you decide this is something that is important because I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but I've had experience where I didn't quite have the time, you know, like, oh, I didn't make, let's say I didn't make the time, okay? And I didn't practice as much as I should have. So when it came to the performance time, I was unprepared. You know, I wasn't as prepared as I would like to be. And I would say I didn't have a good performance. And that's not a good feeling, you know, because the message I would say was a little lost because I was self-conscious, I wasn't confident, and I said to myself, I never want that to happen again. I never want to have that experience where I know it was something that I could have done and I know that I could have done a better job. So since that time, I, I just decided I'm going to make sure I'm prepared. And when you're prepared, you just feel better. You're able to convey your message. Um, so I would say make sure you make it a priority. And set a, set a meeting. Set it, put it on your calendar that on Wednesday from 7 to 9 or however long, 6 to 7, I'm going to block out this time and I'm going to rehearse. And like, like I said before, that's the time when you can try new things. You can see what works. If you stumble in rehearsal, it's okay because you're in rehearsal. So that when you are performing, you're right there. Oh, <laughs> Catherine says, everything in life needs practice. Right. I mean, even the greats, even the people that we admire, they practice like that this is their job so they don't have a, a regular job their job is to perform their job is to practice so you know that when you see them on those television shows or you see them on the, those award shows they had a rehearsal for that they didn't just get up there and instantaneously they were just great so this this is I, I feel like this is a very important part and I think sometimes people overlook this part but this is what's going to set you apart. So um, I have some performers out there. Do you guys have any else, anything you'd like to chime in about that? Do you, you know, um, you, do you agree with that? Do you have any experiences where you weren't prepared or do you, you have an experience where you prepared? So, uh, oh, Catherine says, your voice can crack. Uh, no big deal on oh yes in rehearsal it's no big deal but when you're on stage OMG that's a horrible feeling I'm gonna give you a story about that I my first one of my first shows in New York I did a cabaret I self-produced cabaret show called moments in love and I was singing I don't know if you guys remember that song uh, nobody's supposed to be here by uh, Deborah Cox so she has at the end of that song it's like this bill no 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 so i got to that part and i'm telling you that was the biggest crack in the world and i'm like in my inside i'm like oh my god so you know what i did <laughs> So I get to the part and I crack, right? And then I go, <laughs> So I tried to make it seem like, oh yeah, I did that on purpose. But after the show, I was in tears. I was so 
I was just so embarrassed and devastated. I mean, that's a singer's night worst nightmare is to crack. Like, <laughs> so that I'll never forget that experience. And I don't remember if I got any feedback about that. Um, no one said anything to my face, but but that was like that was an experience that I don't want to share. And I'm sure there's some singers out there. <laughs> oh, Catherine said. Uh, oh, you would have started over. See, you know, that's one thing I don't know because I've seen singers do that where they'll say, oh, can we start, can we just start this over? But I, I tend to just let it go and just keep going. So, I mean, I don't know, like... I think I think it's a preference, you know, for for a choice. But for me, I I've never quite done that. I I've never just said, let me start that over. Now I've seen it done, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But I guess my choice, I I usually just find it's better to just move on and not dwell, you know, not not point it out. And a lot of times it kind of goes, you know, it passes along. So I, I don't know, um, I've never, I've never d had that experience where I just started over. But I think some, I think, well, an exception to that would be if things are so bad that starting over would be better. I think that that might be a good thing. I guess it, it it never got to the point where it was so bad that I needed to start over. So, oh, um, Catherine said, I would have said, let's try that again. Some spirit just entered my voice, and that was not me singing. Oh, <laughs> that's a great, you know, that's a, I think that's good, yeah. Uh, but I think if the song goes so bad that you need to do that, then maybe... You should do that because if you're on the wrong key or if, you know, the notes are so bad that it, you just can't go on or the more you go, the worse it gets, then, yeah, maybe it probably is a good thing to do that. So, um, yeah, so this tip is to set a rehearsal schedule. And um, it's important. It's, it's important for anything, you, you singing, speaking, Anything where you're going to be in front of people, you want to be as prepared as possible. So that's the tip for today. So that's all I have uh, for today. I hope that these are helpful. I hope that if you know someone that's uh, a beginner singer and they want to do this, that I hope that I can add some value to them. I see hi, Jamila just joined in. I'm uh, just about wrapping up, but just to give you a recap of what we talked about. So this is Singing Tips with uh, Benita Charles Me. <laughs> uh, well, Catherine says, or sometimes we don't take a big enough breath. Oh, folks need to rem remember to inhale. Yes, yes, that's a great point. Because sometimes, I think before you before you get on stage, I think you should take that moment and just breathe. Because if you don't take that moment and you jump out on that stage, you you know it, you, you 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 that air you try to pull that air in and it's you know. So yes, I think breathing is very important, uh, especially before you sing and even during the song, like. What well, that's where rehearsal comes in because you practice where to breathe during the song to get the most breath so you can hold your notes. So that goes back to tip number four is that set rehearsal schedule. You're going to know that song so well that when you get to that performance, it's, it's there. You don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. You're just focusing on the message. So I'm, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep preaching that, that, you know, practice. And uh, so, yeah, so our, our tip for today was to establish a rehearsal schedule. And for those of who, who are just joining, this is Singing Tips with me, Benita Charles, and this is for beginner singers. 
And I'm taking the singers on a journey. This is a singing journey to becoming a professional singer. And so the first week we talked about just learning songs. So just building up your repertoire. The second week we talked about warming up your voice before you sing and practicing good vocal care. Last week we had a tribute to Prince and Prince was an all around artist. He's someone that we can really see. This is what we as artists are striving for. We're striving to give inspiration to people. That's what music does to people. So I thought he was an, an excellent example of someone who shared their gifts to the world and uplifted people. Or, you know, what, whatever. You may not like Prince, but he touched lives. He made you think. He made you, you know, it might have been controversial. You might have thought, ah, this guy. But he evoked feeling. And that's what music does. So this week, our tip was to establish a rehearsal schedule. This is going to make you great. This is, and Prince practiced all the time. Practice. If he wasn't out there, practice. If he wasn't practicing in the studio, he was writing, he was performing, but he was constantly working. And this is what a set rehearsal schedule for the artist will do. It's going to get you focused. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you great. So that was this week's tip. So uh, we'll be back again next week for another tip. I hope that you found this helpful. Oh, hey, Leticia. <laughs> I hope you found this helpful. I'm going to, oh, just so you know, I established an Instagram account for singing tips and it's bcm sings on instagram and in the bio you can click on the link to the blog for this so i'm going to archive all of these tips on a blog and uh, may have some other resources as well so um yeah the instagram account is growing there's a lot of people out there that's interested in singing so that that's good Oh, well, Catherine says, every artist should aspire to Prince's commitment to music. Exactly. That's exactly why last week that my tip, that show was all about Prince. Because not only was he a great artist, performer, but he was writing. They say he has, he has a vault of music, of albums worth of music, not just a few songs. He was constantly creating. He was constantly. And I think that's what we as artists should be doing. I mean, it totally inspired me because, you know, I'm, I'm starting to write more. And um, doing these singing tips is great because it's helping me focus and, and give back, you know. And uh, I think that's what it's all about is, is giving back with what I have. Also, I wanted to invite, uh, if there's some of my artist friends out there, for future shows, I would like to have some other guests come on and share their experiences with these singers and, and um, you know, what they're doing. So if there's anyone out there that's interested, I eventually would like to have guests. I would like to have some of my artist friends. I would also like to have some of my industry professional friends out that can share because we're, we're starting with show but we're going to go into business. Now, the, the show part, I would say I'm a PhD. The business part, I would say, um, I wouldn't say elementary, but maybe middle school <laughs> level. So I'm going to need some help with the business part. And that's where I think if, if we have some professionals that can come on and give some tips for, for the singers. Because um, that's just as important as the show part maybe maybe even more important so having that business sense and having you know you're right now we're working on performing we're working on practicing and getting our songs together and getting our talent together but if we had a business sense with the talent then we would be like Prince <laughs> because he had a good business sense as well so that's that's what we're doing here at singing tips so I would like to invite some of my artist friends who, you know, they're doing out, they're doing their thing out there and they're they're making music, and also I have some industry professional friends that um, if they can provide some value to the singers and, and including me in terms of the business, that would be awesome. So that's uh, what we're doing. So thank you everyone.
everyone for joining and uh, for engaging. And you know, if you like this, let me know. If you if you think this is valuable, let me know. Um, before I close, though, I would like to wish all of the beautiful mothers a very very special happy mother's day we wouldn't be here without you mothers including my mom she still treats me like i'm a little child but i guess i'm always going to be her baby but nobody's going to love you like mom so i want to thank all the mothers for their contribution because the children are our future and you are the ultimate role model and i want to thank all the mothers for everything that they do thank you so much i hope that you have the best weekend in the world i hope tomorrow is everything you just can just put your feet up and let everyone serve you because you deserve it you know mothers work 24 7. they don't take a break so this is for you a uh, special thank you to all the mothers. And I want to thank everyone for joining me today. I hope that I was able to add some value. And I just uh, want you to have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. So thanks so much and take care.